Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week six of the GBA D League. Now, if you haven't watched my team builder already, I recommend you go do so because we have got some cool sets coming this week. Um, and I also mentioned that we are up against Asta J, um, also the manager of the. Um, I've forgotten what they're called already. Is it the Montreal Habsols? I know it's something Habsols, but we'll go with that. Um, yes, we're here against Asta, and uh, just quickly to go over what my you know, feelings were at the time of the game. I was absolutely petrified because A, Aster's draft is yuck, and B, Aster is 5-0. and o. Um, So there is that, you know, kind of uh, thing in my head where I'm like, all right, we've got, we've, got, we've got to take him out. We've got to end his streak. We need to end my losing streak, more importantly, um, because I have lost the last three games in a row. But um, if you looked over my team body, you'd know what I've bought. And, uh, well, looking at Aster's team, it's kind of what I expected other than I didn't expect the pilot swine. I would have much uh, more expected the Thunderous to have been there. Um, just because Thunderous is Thunderous. Um, it can cause lots of pranks to shenanigans. Um, but I guess looking at my team, you know, nothing's weak to electric. Uh, depending on his coverage, Latias can kind of take it on quite well. Um, so in the end, yeah, looking at my team, pilot swine does make a bit more sense because it does hit the crook of the Delmise and the Latias super effectively. Um, but the rest, the Infernate, the Crest, the Salamence, the Blastoise and the Metagross, I pretty much expected to be coming this week. So, um, without further ado, we're just going to get into the game because if you want to know more about the team, you should go look at that team builder. I think that's the third plug I've managed to get in there. Um, but we'll get straight into this game because uh, it is one hell of a ride. I will give you that. So, um, Asta is issuing a challenge, uh, and he is going to lead off with his ace, which is his Infernape. That's the one. Now, um, obviously, we're not going to be able to tell what's going on here. I am Choppleberry on my crook, so I can stay in. I am just going to click Stealth Rocks, because I'm very confident he's not going to stay in here. If he's Special Infernape, well, screw me, but um, he's going to U-turn out, and after the Intimidate, it's not going to do too much, because of our... I say too much, it does about a third, but, you know, we have got Wish Protect going on, on the clef, um, and we can get some kind of Wish Passing shenanigans going on. Now, I just go into his Blastoise here. Um, he's seen that I'm willing to stay in on this uh, Infernape, so he might think I'm Scarfed. Um, but I'm going to switch out here. Uh, I do obviously have the Ghost type, so uh, he can't spin away my Stealth Rocks. Stealth Rocks are kind of important in this game, so I want to keep them here. Um, he is going to Mega Evolve his Blastoise, um, which is really scary, because if he has Dark Pulse, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, but he does uh, Mega Evolve, and he actually clicks the Hydro Pump, and thanks to my AV and Max HP, considering it's a Mega Blastoise, that Hydro Pump literally does nothing. Um, kind of leads me to think he might be a bit more of a bulky set, because of the little amount of damage it does. He obviously switches out because he doesn't want to take the um, the Power Whip, but he does switch into his Metagross, which is kind of risky. Um, I do go for the Hidden Power, though, because I expect him to go into his Salamence. So I thought that would be his best answer. Um, I didn't think he'd want to risk his Metagross, because obviously it's his best way of taking out the uh, Clefable. But he does um, just bring it in, and he does go for Stealth Rocks here, so it's a free uh, bit of um, Shadow Claw damage off for me. Um, he has got his rocks up, I have got Rapid Spin on this thing, so I'm going to click Shadow Claw here. I've seen he's got Leftover, so he's not banded, he's not Rocky Helmet or anything like that, and that Shadow Claw does a butt-ton to this thing, so I'm very confident he's going to die to uh, another Shadow Claw, so I'm pretty confident he's also going to switch out, but he decides not to, he decides to click Meteor Mash now. I'm going to live because I'm max HP, uh, I'm going to go for Rapid Spin, and I'm going to get rid of these rocks, which is great. Because uh, he's either going to have to stay in and die and click rocks, or I get a free switch while he sets up rocks. Um, so, I think at this point I'm going to keep this thing alive. Uh, I think at the time, doing that is probably the worst thing. But he does click the pursuit. He brings pursuit just for this. Because um, he did say he expected Delmice to come. So, that's sad. Um, we have weakened this thing severely. And we have obviously got no rocks on our side of the field. Now, I just have to try and kill this thing. So you can't get any more rocks up. So I'm going to go into my Crocodile here. Obviously Intimidate isn't going to work because of clear body. Um, but he's going to die to either of my stab moves here. Um, so he's going to have to try and switch into something which can take a hit. Um, he's going to go out into his Blastoise here. Now I do go for the Crunch because I'm thinking if he switches out I can try and get a defense drop on something. Um, and I think this is where we find out this is a Fizz Death Blastoise. He can't recover his health. 
Um, he can just rapid spin now, and I'm going to expect him to stay in and rapid spin because if he gets rid of those rocks, his Salamence has a much better time. Um, and Earthquake does a lot of damage, so if I'd have got a defense drop, I might have been able just to kill him with the Earthquake there, which uh, would have meant rocks would have stayed and this thing would have probably died. Or if I'd have got a crit, that would have been nice too, but because uh, I predicted that right, uh, he's going to have to switch and keep that Blastoise alive. He's going to go into his Ments now. I go for Crunch because there's really no reason for me to collect Earthquake again um, because it'll kill it. Um, and Crunch will get some good damage off on anything else. Um, here, I'm at minus one, and that does a good amount of damage, which reveals to me that he is 100% offensive Salamence. Um, I'm just going to make the aggressive play and go into Clef. He does go for the Dragon Claw. And uh, he does actually switch out here. So I haven't seen an item, so he's either a Z move or he's choice into something. Um, in comes Alphonse, though. This is his free switch, his chance to get Stealth Rocks up. And. Annoyingly, now because I did click protect there and didn't, you know, expect the switch, um, I could have gone straight back into my crook there, really. I don't think, you know, uh, Iron Tail wouldn't have done much if that's what he decided to do. So that's a shame. Um, but he is now going to get his rocks up. So I'm going to bring in Vo uh, Volcarona, predicting the stealth rocks. And now we are inside. Things aren't quite as weak as I want them to be. Um, but hey, we've got Vulcan. We're going to click Quiver Dance. Um, uh, and we're just going to then start firing off some moves. He's going to switch out here. I believe he goes into his Infernape. If I had clicked Psychic, I was so close to just clicking Psychic that turn. But I clicked Fire Blast because I wanted to get some damage off. But that's non-boosted. Non that's a crit. It does 60% to Infernape, which is actually crucial. Now, I expect him to predict me to switch out. I am all over these predictions at early game. Um, and now I'm just going to stay in a Quiver Dance because I really expected him for him to expect me to switch out because I can obviously come in on rocks quite easily once um, but I do quiver dance and obviously he's now put himself in a bad situation something on his team has to die now um, because ape is his scarfed user so I'm just gonna kill him with the bug buzz and we get uh, get the game back to 5-5 five five quite uh, quite early on so I very much know Inferno ape is coming in next and this is where having stealth rock still would have been really nice because he has to do this every time. He has to bring Infernape in uh, if if I'm set up with Volcarona at all. I am going to switch out this time because I'm confident he's going to have to click uh, a rock type move. So in comes the Crook. Um, I'm going to get the Intimidate off because I'm expecting him to go for a Stone Edge. Um, he actually goes for Flare Blitz though, which is kind of annoying. I don't know if I'd have been able to have taken one or not. Um, I didn't do Calcs at the time because I very much just, just expect him to click a rock move because I didn't think he'd run the risk of, of me... Um, actually staying in because if I did I literally just won the game there and then if I lived um, unless he had priority on something um, he does go for the flare blitz again this is my latias it is the answer for this I should have just gone into this thing straight away anyway um, but I didn't and that was a bit of an error on my behalf um, and this thing is nearly dead which is again why stealth rocks would have been great because um, I'm pretty sure uh, if he'd taken Stealth Rocks damage before, he wouldn't be able to take any more Stealth Rocks damage again. Um, so, he goes back out into his uh, Metagross, I believe. I click Roost. Um, if I had clicked Shadow Ball there, which probably would have been a better play, um, because I would have got Leftovers Recovery anyway, and I probably would have two-hit code this thing with Shadow Ball. But now, I've got to play around this thing again. Um, I'm pretty sure he switches out because he doesn't know what I'm going to do yet. He's only seen Roost. He's going to switch out and he's going to go into his Pilot Swine. Uh, I'm going to click Shadow Ball, so it's good scouting on his behalf. The Pilot Swine, this is probably what the Pilot Swine is here for. Um, Shadow Ball does nothing. I'm going to click Dragon Pulse because I'm thinking, okay, well, um, Infernape's nearly dead, so Latias can be kind of expendable. Um, and we're doing good damage. Now, he does click Toxic, which is interesting. Um, I think it turns out this thing's actually quite invested in attack. Um, so I don't know why he didn't just click Icicle Crash. Um, but the Toxic is you know, off and it's not too upsetting. I'm just going to stay in here and click Dragon Pulse to try and kill this thing. Um, if I can weaken this thing, it's just something else Lop can pick off. Um, it's just something else that I, any of my mons can pick off, basically. So he does go for the Icicle Crash here. Uh, it's going to do a decent amount. I am Fizz Death. Um, obviously, with the Toxic, uh, I reckon it'll be doing about 50%, so we could just have, like, a Roost War here. Um, but that's maybe why the Toxic was necessary you know it stops me from roosting up and whatnot so I'm just gonna click no I think I might switch out here um, because I can still you know uh, heal up a bit on things like um, Cresselia depending on his set I'm gonna go into the lop here this was a, a mistake on my end because at the time of doing it I got let off hugely here because the ice shard 
Um, at my time here, I was thinking I was already Mega Evolved, so I was like, oh, I can switch into a nice type move all day, every day, because um, I'm a fighting type. That That isn't the case. Um, I'm going to Mega Evolve here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I go for... I can't remember what I go for here. Um... But I get my Mega Evolution up, and that's pretty much all I was going for. I go for the Fake Out, basically, because that would then probably guarantee um, that Quick Attack could probably kill that Pilot Swine, maybe, potentially, or, you know, High Jump Kick. I wanted to see if he had Protect as well. Um, but this is where I'm just going to go into my Lat, yes, because if he's going to click Moon Blast, um, I'm just going to die. That's fine. Um, this thing's weak anyway. Now, I die to that Moon Blast, and Corrin goes down. So. What I don't know at this point is, um, and which I do find out after the game, Volcarona walls this uh, Cresselia pretty well, I believe. Yeah, rest. It's rest, recycle, moonblast, something. Um, but obviously, I don't know this at the time. I do just go for uh, the quiver. No, I go for the bug buzz here because I ain't going to mess around. I just want damage off on this thing. He can't kill me um, unless he has Psy Shock. I don't have Roost. If I had Roost, that would have been a really nice move to use there. Um, but in comes Ace, which is the Infernape. Now, again, he would have died to Stealth Rocks at this point. He wouldn't have been able to switch this thing in. He does go for the Rock Slide. He does reveal he has it. Um, and I, there's no point in me keeping this thing around because I do die to Rocks. So, it's 4-3 at the moment. <clears throat> However, this does give me a switch into Clefable. Because I know he's locked into his... Um, his... What's it called? Here's Rock Slide, that's the one. Um, here, I think I should have gone for a Wish, potentially. Um, because it would have given me some options to switch into Crocodile uh, into and into a lot. But I go for the Calm Mind. And I can take one hit because I'm max defense. We know he's not Choice Bands or, or Life Orb, so we know he can definitely take one hit. Now, I just want to hit Moon Blast because that then puts this thing in guaranteed range of the High Jump Kick. Um, however, Aster has other ideas because he is obviously going to outspeed me. I don't have Flamethrower. If I had Flamethrower on this thing, then we'd have been set. Um, however, he crits me with the uh, Meteor Mash. And he gets the Attack Raise. I didn't even realise that in the game, but he gets the Attack Raise as well. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I have to 100% go into Crook now. And it's Crook and Lop versus the world at this point, And he still has a Cress at full health. So, you can tell where this game is going, um, but I have to come in, I have to click Crunch here. Um, it's my best play because uh, he still has the Ments, uh, his just super effective, it hits the Crest super effective, and I can get the defense drop potentially as well. Um, now, we don't kill it, which is a shame. If I'd have got any kind of more damage on this thing, the, ha the amount of health he's lived on is probably the amount of health he's recovered through leftovers, so it's really frustrating that I can take him out quicker. And now the last... Uh, the last stand is Mega Lob. Thankfully, Aster isn't going to 5 0 me because he's going to let me uh, just kill this thing off with a high jump kick. Sorry, 4 0 me because I've killed two of his mons already. Uh, it's Lop versus the world. He's going to let me kill this thing off with a high jump kick. I guess just in case of any shenanigans, of me predicting a switch into his uh, crest of some sort. We do get the crit. The crit really doesn't matter. The revenge crit. This is. The, I mean, the game gets to, to be a bit haxy at this point. We've seen some crits the last two turns. Um, However, what Ast is going to do now is really smart. He knows he's not going to keep his Ments in here, um, but he does it to get the minus one to pretty much seal in the game. Um, I do click Ice Punch because I have the Ice Punch, and uh, my only hope of like coming back into this game is if I get some freezes. Um, we don't get the freeze on this one. We have to hope to dear God that we get a freeze on this Ice Punch. And oh my God, what do you know? We do. We are back in this game because of this one freeze. Now, what I really need to happen is for this crest just to to stay frozen. Because if he switches out into Ments, it dies. If he switches out into Infernape, it probably might live. Um, but I have Quick Attack, which I haven't revealed yet. He doesn't want to take the risk. So if he switches, he loses. Um, and that's if he stays frozen. And he is staying frozen this whole time. Um, I'm just going to stay in a nice punch because it's all I have to do. It's all Aster knows I have to do too. Um, and there is very much a real chance of me winning purely because of this freeze. I haven't counted the freeze turns. I think it's probably something like eight. Um, I'm just going to keep clicking Ice Punch. Uh, I will spoil this for you. Um, this crest does die. It does stay frozen the whole time. We are just literally watching me click Ice Punch over and over again un until it dies. Um, two, two more Ice Punches, maybe. He does stay frozen now. This is why freezing was so important, because he had Rest, uh, rest Recycle, 
Uh, I think it was Chesto, Moonblast, something else as well, maybe. Oh no, it wasn't. It was Rest, Sleep Talk, Recycle, and Moonblast. Um, I think he had something to stop me from toxicing him. I can't remember what it was. Um, but he does go down. Now, Asta does make the smart play um, because at minus one, uh, Ice Punch can still kill this thing. At minus two, Ice Punch can still kill this thing. So, what he does is he intimidates me. Um, I, he's obviously going to just take the Ice Punch for this thing and I think he lives. Yeah, he does. So, it might have died without the second Intimidate, um, but I do have Quick Attack here and I will take this thing out. Um, now, it's Megalop versus the Salamence. If I get a crit or a freeze, I win. Um, otherwise, he pretty much wins at this point. It's come down, I mean, it's been Haxy so far. It's gonna come down to Hax on the last turn again. We click Ice Punch, do we get a crit? Do we get a freeze? Not quite. And he pops the Z move. And it is, of course, Z Fly. Now, I really wasn't happy with this, because if I'd have bought Registeel, Registeel would have walled his Salamence's uh, set 100%, because he has Dragon Claw, uh, Dragon Dance, Fly, and the um, Protect. So, if I had protected on a Z move with Clef, or if I had my Registeel, I would have walled this thing to hell and back. And it's incredible that he didn't bring Iron Tail, um, and instead he does have the Z Fly, so a bit upset there, but... Hey, never mind. It was an incredibly close game. Um, literally came down to his last mon being on minus or less than 10%. So, incredibly close game, Master. I know that it was only close because of hacks right at the end there. And it would have been an incredible way for me to get a win. Um, I got lucky with my only win of the season so far. So, getting lucky with a second win would have been incredible. Um, and it would have ruined Aster's winning streak as well. So, you know, one side of me, I'd have felt really bad for winning in that fashion. But on the other side, I would have felt so smug. Because he... I, I felt like I actually outplayed him at the start a lot. Um, I actually felt like I played quite well. Um, but in the later games where things of mine just started dying, I really struggled. And that freeze literally bought it back. So, I felt like I played okay in the first half with the predictions, like with um, Volcarona, with uh, Delmise, with Crocodile, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I felt like I did really well. Um, maybe mid get to late game wasn't so good, but the the luck at the end nearly salvaged a result for me. So, good game, Asta. Um, he, was, <laughs> he wasn't too upset, which is good, because he did get the win anyway. Maybe if he'd lost, it would have been a different scenario, but um, it was a really good game, so thanks for that game. Guys, if you ha aren't already subscribed to Asta, I would recommend you do so. I'll leave links to his Twitter and his YouTube below. Um, otherwise, make sure you just go subscribe to the GBA channel, especially if you want to see what my uh, transfers are going to be. I have made three. I've used all three of my transfers in one week, um, so there's going to be some definite spice. I can't wait to be absolutely slaughtered by the... Uh, by the analysts. Even though I've given them my reasoning, I'm sure they'll find a way to slaughter me still. But thanks for watching this video, guys. Take care, and I will see you next week for week seven uh, versus It's Gregulator, the guy who ranked me so low on the 30 hottest draft players. I'm going to have to beat him and put him in his place. Um, I'm sure he loved that, though. So enough rambling on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.